Tonight, nine investigates the huge spike in firearm sales across Florida. We just told you about sweeping federal changes expanding background checks to more gun buyers. And now, investigative reporter George Spencer has dug deeper. And he found the number of people buying guns here in Florida has skyrocketed since the Connecticut school shooting in December. How are you doing today, sir? For T.J. Burns of Golden Triangle Guns in Tavares, just keeping these shelves stocked has been nearly a full-time job since December. From this time last year to now, I say we're easily doing double the amount of business. And Burns says his customers include many first-timers seeking firearms of all types. Florida does not register guns, so background checks on buyers are the best indicator of purchasing. New data shows during the first three months of this year, FDLE performed about 294,000 such checks statewide. It's 36% higher, or about 105,000 more background checks, than the same period one year earlier. The spike began in December, the month of the Newtown school shooting and renewed gun control talk. There's a lot of people with the mentality of, well, you know, if you tell me I'm not going to be able to have it, it's definitely something I want to have now. And now, Nine Investigates has calculated the number of would-be buyers turned down based on their background checks is minuscule. FDLE says of the 797,000 background checks it ran last year, just more than 10,000, or about one and a quarter percent, were not approved based on factors like criminal history, substance abuse problems, or citizenship status. Critics of the so-called gun show loophole have worried those denied applicants could simply purchase from a private seller instead. But the Senate proposal floated today would require background checks even for people who buy privately at gun shows or online. Thank you, George. And you can see the complete month-by-month -month break.